Hello, New York Giants fans, and welcome to your Giants News Roundup here on the Big Blue View YouTube channel for Monday, May 23rd. I'm your host, Ed Valentine of Big Blue View. Wanted to talk a little bit today about one of the interesting competitions for the Giants uh, heading into the 2022 season, and that's the, uh, the left guard spot. Left guard is really the one spot on the offensive line where there is a competition for, uh, for the starting job. You've got Andrew Thomas at left tackle, John Feliciano at center, Mark Lewinsky at right guard, and number seven overall pick, Evan Neal at right tackle. That leaves the, uh, the question spot at uh, left guard. And last week at the, uh, at the OTA practice last Thursday when media had access, we got our first hint as to how that competition might unfold. Looks like right now, as we're right here toward the end of May, right now, Shane Lemieux, 2020 number or fifth over or fifth round pick, excuse me, is uh, is running as the uh, the first team left guard. And really, you know, like I said, it it's the end of May. Who knows what's going to happen between now and in September 11 when the Giants begin to uh, begin their their 2022 NFL schedule. But right now, Shane Lemieux looks like he's penciled in running with the first unit uh, at left guard. Lemieux, of course, had missed all but 17 snaps last season after suffering a partially torn patellar tendon. Uh, you know, played quite a bit as a rookie in 2020 up and down showed some ability as a run blocker but showed some uh, that he needed some development needed some work in his pass protection when you listen to uh, to offensive line coach Bobby Johnson talk which uh, which we had a chance to do on uh, on Thursday you know following the the OTA practice I think you understand a little bit about uh, about why he likes Lemieux in, in speaking, not necessarily about Lemieux, but in speaking about uh, center John Feliciano and what what he likes about Feliciano, why the Giants brought him you know, from Buffalo uh, to be their starting center this year, Johnson talked about the fact that, uh, that Feliciano plays with an edge, that he plays with an attitude that you need to have as an offensive lineman. Johnson, in fact, said that he calls Feliciano affectionately, I do believe, calls Feliciano a dirtbag. And he said he actually writes that on the chalkboard when he when he shows the depth chart, when he shows who's playing where. And and what he meant by that is that Feliciano plays with an edge. He plays, you know, with, to take advantage of everything he can take advantage of within the rules. And he said that he wants that from all of his offensive linemen. He said, in fact, that if you cannot play with an edge, you cannot play with an attitude that you can't play for him, period. And, you know, Johnson's been offensive line coach in Buffalo. He's worked with the Raiders. He's been uh, he's been with the Indianapolis Colts. He's been around a little bit. He's an experienced guy. He knows what he wants. He knows what he's looking for. And when you think about Shane Lemieux, you think about a guy who came to the NFL. And when you go back and look at his scouting report, it mentions things like power, toughness, grit, all of those things that would appeal to Bobby Johnson, probably appeal to Joe Shane as well, the Giants general manager. The other thing that, that would have been appealing about Lemieux is that he started 52 straight games at Oregon. He was always available. The injury that he suffered last year was the first time he's ever really suffered a serious injury. So, you know, and that's another thing that Johnson talks about, talked about on Thursday is that guys have to be available. They have to get their snaps to get better. And, you know, he pointed out, you know, what he tells guys is, you know, if you're not available to take your snaps, somebody else is taking them. Somebody else is getting better. Somebody else is, is making a push to take your spot. So I think that Shane Lemieux has a lot of the, of the characteristics, a lot of the things 
that Bobby Johnson likes in offensive linemen. I think there's a good possibility that this competition for, for the left guard spot comes down to Lemieux and third round pick Joshua Azuda. And we'll have to see how quickly Azuda is ready. But with Shane Lemieux, with uh, veteran Max Garcia, who can play guard and center, you know, who, you know, who the Giants signed during the offseason, with Ben Bredesen, who they brought in from uh, from the Baltimore Ravens via trade a year ago. Bredesen, incidentally, is also doing some work at center. You know, with those guys, they don't have to rush Josh Azuda. And I think that's one of the points uh, of uh, – that's one of the things the Giants tried to do this offseason was – to build some depth and, you know, they weren't able to go out and get the absolute best players at each position, but to find at least competent players who could fill spots for a while, for a season, if they needed to, while they developed other players, while they filled holes with, with draft picks and younger players. So right now it looks like, uh, looks like Shane Lemieux is your uh, leader in the clubhouse for the starting left guard job, probably to be challenged at some point, by Josh Azuda. We'll just have to see how all of that plays out. All right, Giants fans, thank you for listening. Please you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, you give us give us a follow on, on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Join the community at BigBlueView.com if you haven't done that already. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.